All right, hello nih Nong Yasan, welcome back to Nobrian Sawardo, aka Nobrian Seika YouTube channel. Kali ini kita kembali lagi di game ketiga ya. AP Brand versus RRQ Hoshi. Ini. Dan skor masih satu-satu, makanya ada game ketiga karena best of three dan di sini kalian bisa lihat ya untuk AP Brands ini menggunakan Xbox di situ Patrick terus Arlot terus juga ada Arlot itu yang bikin AP Brands juara kemarin ya di M6 Nana dan juga Jennifer sedangkan untuk RRQ di sini menarik Pernah ada di situ yang namanya Ferdinand, Nolan, ada Ruby, Lilitot dan juga Titi. So in a way, AP Brand have thought of a much better version for Akaja, which, well, that's the reason why they're the world champions, <laughs> because they think better than we do, and then they swing this X Borg as the EX lane, and many like. teams will argue that X Borg is strong in the meta game right now just because of the presence of the CC. It actually wins that matchup. Okay. Yeah, we talked about having a possible plan for the banana split, right? Stopping banana from being able to rotate around and i think that's a good read Expo. from the side of ap brand to be able to do that now execution is another story i mean we know banana is one of those players that knows how to lihat seperti apa ya siapa yang menang habis ini pun kita akan melihat onik ya anjir ya nggak bisa nggak tidur ini attention to for the side of ap brand as the first turtle does spawn in some engagement in the mid lane though big knock up first blood double kill oh no pasif dari nana ya nana a few forced to go back And now the last sanity going out. Flat TG for the final stand. Jennifer mendapatkan turtle ya. Lap is in trouble, but already the damage has been done. He's actually surviving as the Piraga. It is safe for now. Dan sekali mid laner. Everybody is just so good at playing right now. Even Arky Oshi after losing that, they look really good at that team fight. And they really challenge everyone to their limits. But in the end, it's only one hero that will be able to snag that last hit on the turtle it's definitely going to be the ex uh, the ap brand side and hey we're climbing up that ladder the pressure is only getting higher and the room is only getting hotter but who will be able to maintain that lihat siapa yang akan menang ini will it be the philippines this is the last team from the philippines yeah. currently seeing blacklist taken down by fire flux uh the other day inside of the quarterfinals and ap brin still trying to hold that banner high the philippines and it Back on the scene, back to the game. Yang lolos cuma satu ya. And looking stronger than ever, both teams currently tied. Orang blacklist kalah. Akan bayar pluk. Bayar pluk itu kalau nggak salah dari Turki. Super Marco double laning. This is one of the strengths of the Beatrix. Jazz Starlar itu MM tapi buildnya. Kau itu sih. Mati. You have your teammates to that even the problem that you know, like for Super Marco to have a much better farm compared to Skylar. Technically speaking, there's also um, a merit for Skylar to go double lane because he has the ultimate, so he can traverse from top to, to mid lane very quickly. But Arkyoshi are thinking we also need farm on Octa, so we're not gonna sack our mid lane just for our gold lane to have a little bit of extra gold. Okay, di situ nolar respon. First kill for the side of AP Brand did go to Flap TZ on this X Borg and XP lane. You mentioned it being a great answer over there to Banana. Nari ko nari ko nari. Irad though able to get a kill of his own inside of the jungle, putting him slightly possibly ahead up against Kyle TZ. But you are seeing engagement in the middle. That's a lot of damage. X Borg with the dive in. We'll shut him down, and now Irad trying to join the party. Ogwin trying to get away, trying to expand that distance. Last sanity to the back line. Mati lah, Anjir. Connecting flat TZ an inch away, but still getting the kills. Finds Brusco. Double kill. Takes down Skyler for the double kill. Oh my God, Flap! What an amazing 
way to control this export. Oh. Nasincerity and okay, uh, okay, Expo Expo the Pat, Pat, is still on point. You can see it through the replay. While another clash is happening. With... Look at that. He used the second skill while utilizing the ultimate. And what... Damn, look at that. Everybody does that anyways. But the way that two, he did was so good that he caught two members of Arky Hoshi with this additional Wow, Expo Quad Pati. Unbelievable performance coming out from Flap TZ. In pure rage. Um, Bahaya, si. is the way to go. Definitely the way to go and in control. Mati. Skylar, top side, Untuk MM mati itu sakit oh. banget sih. That will be the marksman falling for the side of AP Brin. A little bit of a trade back for RRQ Hoshi trying to Rusko. even out the scoreboard. Not trying to give AP Brin control of the early game. Patrick langsung ambil yang namanya Blade. Ya. Early game. So far both teams putting out a great fight contest. On to the top side, though. Violet Requiem special migration for Katsi catches Brusco. Nice. You will do the last hit and take him down. Down will fall the turret in the top side. Betul, well. ternyata. Very good. Q Hoshi will disengage. Brusco di sini emang dijadiin kayak pengalih perhatian ya. Bahaya sih untuk Arlot sendiri. Cukup seram. Ini push top, bawah top. Oh, uh, Skylar, Skylar, kau. Di balas ternyata. Brusco mati ternyata. So we can see the full showcase of how Arlet counts these purified based heroes because Oof, of the golden easy. ultimate final slash. And like I said, even when you pop the the purify on final slash, it wouldn't matter because the animation is too quick that you're already displaced. That's exactly what happened to Skylar. Then after the purify threshold or duration is because that's a very short duration, like what, 0.5 seconds, 0.2 seconds. That's means that the bahaya sih ini untuk energi as the Arlot is Ngalih, ternyata, more, gitu. uh, difficult to deal with. They want to go for Flap, but can they take the MVP? Just the Sun, segera sih. No. Expo. Ooh, I mean, Flap definitely going for that MVP. He's looking for it. He's gunning for it. Nice, and he's for it. So far, half the kills from the side of AP Brin were dealt by him. Okay, bottom lane. Claim a turret on the bottom Anjur. side, and AP Brin able to turn this game into their favor. Now, Bagus. leading by 5,000 gold. Ketika nggak bisa no no ball ya really bahaya and looking really dicey now for RQ Hoshi but we always have to uh, to talk about the late game because this is still Nathan Nathan is Nathan it's end of the day if he survives Nathan is Nathan yeah flurry from AP Bren he's gonna be able to turn it off with purify as well as the ultimate very strong cleanse and uh the damage output from the uh, Nathan late game is actually pretty good however AP Bren what they did to counter the purify and the cleanse is to just overload with a lot of crowd control, like a lot of crowd control sources. Mini crowd control um, sources kind of answers purify based heroes because you have low cooldown, reliable knockdowns or uh, stuns or knockups or anything that committing a purify for one spell, you always have to think about that. Should I commit for the purify just to get out, or should I wait for the big ticket ultimate? Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Slash in the mid lane. Few will find Brusco. Good assist over there. Oh, ini kemungkinan AP. Brand ini bisa menang ini berbahaya ini. Dan Skylar bisa dapat. We'll go ahead and claim a turret for the side of Arkin Hoshi to try to catch up in this economy. Oh my God! What is Flap on? He's just uh. <laughs> he's just activated in this game. Really good calculations on this hero. He knows the limits of this hero. Now he has immortality. Remember, in those aggressive moves that he did nine minutes before, he didn't have the immortality there, and he was already a problem. What more could you ask for from a flap TZ? He's going to be destroying Arki Hoshi. He's going to be zoning them out. And the positioning was just so perfect. The way that he uh, maneuvers with the, the footwork on this X-Borg Allows him to uh, touch up of the spells. Sarah mungkin duit juga kalah ya untuk Erki ya. It's really on point with this export now. Yeah, Xbox ya terlalu kenyang. Speaking of opportunity though, triple taunt 
Oh no, Skylar is dead. That'll be one member falling for AP Brim. Flat Seeds will find Skylar to respond. A one for one trade. Both marksmen off the table. Oh, di situ Kyle Susi. Kau siapa itu? Cici kill. Damn, ini Lord very very spicy ya. Into the mid lane. Archie hopes though they don't have their marks. Tapi nggak ada mah MM. But I don't know if they can really contest this Lord just yet. They may want to kind of wait it out. A little bit before taking this fight, but they are off to a nice start. hierarchy. This is still, I would say, considered very, very good. stalemate between both sides. Yeah, it's still uh, anybody's game, but yep. some great yeah. execution from both teams. A great execution from Brusco this time with the conceal flicker play. Really surprising. AP Brand off, uh, really off guard, and don't run Wolf King um, with the ultimate connecting onto three members or two members of AP Brand. Quickly followed by Irad with a taunt. Nice. Three more for SD combos coming up from Arki Hoshi. Yeah, and if you weren't a fan of Indonesia or the Philippines, you definitely should be now. As look at the Philippines, fighting their hearts out to claim a spot inside of the Grand Finals. Yes. They're currently holding that title as the world champions, the best in the world. Lawan AP Brand pemenang ya. M5. Rising to the occasion with some new additions to the team, ready to take the fight and earn that title. Wah, akan diriset lagi. Down to the wire, best of three. Game number three. Xbox Jungler juga. Serem. Today, as we are now crossing that 11 minute mark, and both teams getting ready to fight it out at this Lord. Great, great minion wave control from Marco. She just a slow push in the bottom lane, and then they cleared out up top. So they actually have the advantage now in this Lord dance. Okay, di situ Irat. There goes the advantage. They're looking for Ogwen rushes in. Irat very very cross ya. Right over there from this R lot. But Tizi though getting to the front line, being a little bit of a nuisance. Dealing a lot of damage on the chase on a Brusco. Ooh, Brusco meledak di situ. Now needs to get back. He does not have the frog armor. Look at the Lord though. Irat di situ. Nah, Irat gagal untuk mengambil retribution. Ooh. Oh man, never ever sleep. Ya ber. Like Brusco overstayed his overstayed in front of the X work, and at this point with Flap being seven zero with two. Of course, he's gonna deal the damage, and they really got cooked by this. Wah, kalau dapat itu GG sih untuk Irat. Tapi nggak dapat tu. And then Radiant Armor. Now he has got staying power up against Skyler as well as Octa. This untuk equipment. I gotta say, at this point, twelve minutes in. Oh, Maki Maxman kah? Nathan. To compare that to the C six point seven K, that's. How massive the advantage here, here is for Flap, and he's—he was definitely the reason why AP Brand recovered in that Lord Dance because Brusco like literally got cooked by his uh, fellow Filipino Flap Tizi. And a big boost from that nice. for the side of AP Brand now able to claim the tier two turret in the mid lane. Looks like they're going in for a little bit more though on the top side, now leading by a lot of turrets okay. and also ahead, like you mentioned, by gold. Now RQ Hoshi. Forced to be a little bit more defensive now. Can definitely say AP Brin is in control of the tempo. Okay, AP Brin sekarang. The later this goes, the more it will be, and that's what Orange is going to kind of bank on, right? They're waiting. Yeah. Today, this is to make a slight mistake. Team using playing games. Why? To be able to turn this around, and they're definitely a team that can rise up to the occasion. Now. So far, Patrick with this in favor of AP yeah. Bren, they're gonna have to kind of be patient, wait it out for this next objective. I mean, they do have uh, some great mobility on their side and flat TZ to be a little bit of that first line they're looking for. And RQ Hoshi having a really hard time finding an answer to him. I mean, the man has not died yet. He's seven yeah. zero and two. Even when the full team commits on him, not only does he sustain himself, but he finds a way to get a kill alongside it. Yeah, somebody has to burst down flat TZ actually. Like if he wants to go for those plays where he actually Xboxnya terlalu strong ya, jadi bilang ya. Ah, Rki Hoshi, there has to be some sort of punish. Maybe um Skyler commits actually at the ultimate just to take out the flap Tizi and just put AP Brand in an awkward spot. But then again, uh Skyler is uh kind of scared that there could be an initiation coming up from Ogwin as well as Kyle. So that's also a problem that he has to take care of. But the main problem now definitely for Rki Hoshi is flap. It's a canon event again for AP Brand. Yeah, and you're looking at them getting ready, starting to go ahead and take control of these lanes, prepping for this next Lord to spawn in. And RQ Hoshi looks like they may go in for the contest. I mean, they are down in terms of economy, but the later this game goes, 
Everybody's going to be getting closer and closer to that late build. You're seeing the Divine Glade picked up from Skylar. Speaking about late game items, we'll have that magic pin. Now, at the 15 minute mark, Luminous Lord spawns in and AP Bryn will pull the aggro. Do we see our Kihoshi respond? It looks like they will. They are going to go in for yeah, the contest. Damn, that's a lot of damage. The commitment of the flap, they forced the ultimate already. Yeah, he is very low. He needs to get out of there. We talked about somebody oh, needing to burst guard. him down. Okay. When it Turun, did you do flap to see? ready to take this fight into the Lord pit. Nobody has fallen yet. Lord at about 50% Lord, the reset. Gonna go ahead and pull it away. A little bit of a reset for uh, some region on the Lord. Yeah. Trying to delay and do this Lord dance. Some smart move from the side of AP Brin. They know they want to bait out some of the utility from the side of Arki Hoshi. Wait for an ultimate to proc that they can profit on. To okay. Be engage. Well, watch out for AP Brin's rotation with Super Marco as well as uh, as well as well as Masih memancing, memancing. Position. They're, they're position one and they're position five going for the concealed play. Might go for that snipe. You gotta be careful if you're Skylar. Wah, bocor di situ ya. Kita yeah, lihat. Udah kelihatan late game this. ya. Very patient. And I gotta give credit to both sides on how they are waiting for the other side to make a mistake. But these are very high IQ plays. Will buff. Di sana kalian bisa lihat sendiri. This is the Lord dance we've been talking about that has been in the land of dawn for ages, especially yeah. on this level of competition. <laughs> the Philippines and Indonesia. Two of the most competitive oh regions in MOBB history now fighting it out, raising those banners high. Flap Tizi, Ooh, Flap Tizi, this is too. Armor rushing in does take some serious hits. Entropy may be out. You're gonna see few find a kill though. Wow, I'm, I'm, oh, Irat, target sekali too. Hoshi does not have the retribution. And what we talked about the one, the position one and position five for AP Brain, the one five punch from the long bush of AP Brain. Retribution di data cukup berat sih. Oh, kalau si bocor di situ. Untuk. Damn, no lar di situ. Oh, terlalu nafsu. Dan yang dapat Lord adalah Oh no Indonesia Oh no Lar mati Semua mati wipe out Oh no Oh Langsung N ini sih There's only banana that can defend this. Gee. Banana going in and chasing Kaltizi, trying to go for the hero place, but unfortunately wasn't successful. And now he's taken out. That should be it. AP Brent will take this series for sure. Damn it. Tasuka. Ah. Uh, Damn it. <laughs> Kalaj. <laughs> Hierarchi. When there was an initiation, initiation coming out from the Fred, what do they do is banana nafsu mukil. So somebody has to check that Lord, somebody has to check the health of the Lord. The ultimate Irad showed himself. The Brusco was already mind sweeping, actually. He was looking for someone from the, from the L bush as well as the newest, you know, the new bush, and he didn't find any. Irad felt comfortable putting himself in front of the Lord and the concealed play from both Ogwin and Super Marco paid dividends. All they had to do was just really pop the ultimate onto Irad and oh, yeah, yeah, just like that. And AP Brand played that Lord dance in a different manner but perfectly in that manner. Yes, Dan bisa dibilang flap to see sendiri damage-nya udah kelihatan berkurang ya. Like we said in the beginning, only one team will be able to move forward and that'll be the first team out from Indonesia knocked out we still are looking at Onik holding that banner high for them we will be seeing their game up next AP yeah. Brand, 
on it. Damn. That was Flat Teasy's game. Damn, we talked about him having an answer over there to Banana, and they found it. You run the CC, yep. no problem. I'll just counter it and do it a little bit better on the rotations. And he was able to pull it off. Not only was he frontlining majority of the damage, but look at him. Getting to the back line, pressuring the side of RG from taking these neutral objectives, creating the opportunity Benar, yeah. for AP Bryn to have the advantage, which led overall with them winning this series. Ini ini yang saat kesalahan kesalahan fatal. And County is knew the limits of his hero. There's no one to damage him because they already zoned out um Skylar. So when Brusco shows himself here, County he just jumps there. Dikala air kondisi. And then his battery rage. Well, he didn't uh he didn't have the retribution but th th that's the point right they're still in range to take that lord and then they found skylar just trying to his best is desperately to go for a pick off or maybe last hit the lord or something but again another hero play so every time that there's a hero play there's an easy punish <laughs> coming out from a rq hoshi and if you're a filipino you can hear black i'm sure so, so. Said, yeah you I can definitely you. tell yeah they are really super hyped the, so, okay, he said, I love you. 100%. That's what he said. <laughs> well, I definitely know there's a lot of love out there in the Philippines for AP Bryn right oh, now. Sure. They put on a show. Xbox, Xbox. Xbox. Close out the series. And there it is. The man yep. with the plan stepping into the zone and doing his yep. thing. Flap Teasy, a well deserved MVP. Oh, yeah. I think that deserves no explanation. The, the impact that he had in that game from the early stages was so, yep. so that's not what I say nine minutes it was oh. the reason why Bernie sports were winning walaupun di LED mulai kelihatan RRQ tapi LRQ terlalu mukil sih RRQ kampret ya man pake tak so well. and then in the first lord you, or was it the second lord but there was a lord where Brusco and ini kita menuju ke the triple jump with Brusco but on the reset of the fight what happened was they overstayed statistic dan kita end the X -Borg. that's why they got tunggu untuk onik tapi sini sometimes you don't really feel the damage of the export until it's far too late when he already yep. stacked up so much on ya yeah and yeah, yeah. now panning over uh to this amazing game you're looking at both teams fighting it out that was uh RQ Hoshi not able to claim game three but they put on a game a good fight right they lost game yeah. one jadi tuh sekiranya untuk later that we seen yesterday able to kind of uh or we seen the other day claiming victory up against Deus Volts not the same story going up against the world champions AP Bren it looked like they kind of played well yeah. definitely over pressure thank you for watching btw and see you to the next one jangan lupa untuk like comment subscribe ya btw